together to welcome Aaron Hughes. Actually, I think after Cyril spoke, we can all go home. Um, but I was asked to share one single tip, um, and I took that quite seriously, so I don't have a slide, but I wanted to talk about what I call the middle voice, like the middle child, you know, the first child, the second child, and the third child. Um, first and third all get noticed very often. We don't think a lot about the second voice, the ability to speak directly to one other person, and not just in this slightly cold third person voice, which many of us know about, I find, I find it a bit impersonal sometimes, or the first person, which can sometimes cause us to go so far into ourselves that we stop thinking about what the audience is actually interested in. Um, I have been exploring a lot about the second voice, the, or you know, the second person perspective, and many of my latest poems have been addressed to a you. I thought I'd start, therefore, by sharing with you how powerful a poem that is addressed to a you can be by sharing the first poem from Carolyn Duffy's book of love poems called Rapture. And quite aptly, the first poem is titled You. And nearly every poem in here is a second person poem. Uninvited, the thought of you stayed too late in my head. So I went to bed dreaming you hard, hard. Woke with your name like tears, soft, salt on my lips. The sound of its bright syllables like a charm, like a spell. Falling in love is glamorous hell. The crouched, parched heart like a tiger ready to kill. A flame's fierce licks under the skin. Into my life, larger than life, beautiful, you strolled in. I hid in my ordinary days, in the long grass of routine, in my camouflage rooms. You sprawled in my gaze, staring back from anyone's face, from the shape of a cloud, from the pining earth-struck moon which gapes at me as I open the bedroom door. The curtains stir. There you are on the bed, like a gift, like a touchable dream. Whenever I have writer's block these days, I stop trying to write a poem and I write a letter to someone instead just addressed to a single you, a person I focus on and think about in as much detail as I possibly can. And I find that that's often the best way to get over the writer's block. To stop thinking about trying to you know, pontificate or come up with some deep wisdom, but just write to that one person and hope that in that you, there is somehow a larger humanity or a larger group of people that end up getting addressed as well. So just to share one other quick poem, um, this was, an, again, an experiment with a, with a you poem. And this was after many, many times of trying to write a poem about a friend who passed away in a national service accident. I decided the simplest thing to do would be to write this, a letter to a friend, unwritten. Dear Daryl, if I had actually written this, I would probably have started by asking how you'd been since you visited, whether your plans to go to California had worked out, and if there was a chance, we could catch up again sometime. I would have asked how your parents were, apologized for not being able to find the words to stay in touch with them, and asked if you chatted to them like we did. If I'd mustered enough of what I suppose must be called courage, I would have asked exactly how you managed to make your calls just before wakefulness drew blankets from our eyes. I would have wanted to know if you were happy, if you still felt any pain, and if, like me, you let yourself wonder why in the summer before you died, we believed we were too busy to meet. If, like me, you ever mind play how that might have been. Perhaps dreamlike as laughter peeled away the post-schoolboy layers of the soul. I would probably have sent the letter if I'd been able to find an address, and then immediately regretted not adding a questioning postscriptum. Why? Did I find straw strong comfort believing you just might have these answers? Why, compared to third person poems all far from omniscient, had this letter been so much less difficult to write? And why, as day evaporated my image of you, did the dawn feel tired, drained of white light? I hope you all find many second persons that you can write to in your own creative endeavors. Thanks. <laughs> 